Love even more. Penda zaidi. Hebu ambia mwenzako. Tell your neighbor. Najua una upendo. I know you have love. Lakini but penda zaidi. Love even more. Yes. Ndio ujumbe wetu wa Pasaka ya mwaka 2015. This is our message of this Passover 2015. Na tutamuomba Pastor George atatusomea katika Yohana 20. And I'm going to read from the book of John chapter 20. Kuanzia mstari wa kwanza. From this one na usome pamoja na sisi and please read with us but the lord has fed me this word this morning and i'm telling you bon appetit <laughs> uh, enjoy the menu nitasoma kwa Kiswahili naomba unifuatilie kwenye biblia za kwenu hata siku ya kwanza ya juma mariam magdalena alikwenda kaburini alfajiri Kongali giza bado. Akaliona lile jiwe limeondolewa kaburini. Basi akaenda mbio, akafika kwa Simoni Petro na kwa yule mwanafunzi mwingine ambaye Yesu alimpenda. Akamwambia, "Wamemuondoa Bwana kaburini wala hatujui walikomweka." Basi Petro akatoka na yule mwanafunzi mwingine wakashika njia kwenda kaburini. Wakaenda mbio wote wawili, na yule mwanafunzi mwingine akaenda mbio upesi kuliko Petro. Akawa wa kwanza kufika kaburini akainama na kuchungulia akaona vitambaa vya sanda vimelala lakini hakuingia basi akaja na Simoni Petro akaingia ndani ya kaburi akavitazama vitambaa vilivyolala na ile leso iliyokuwa kichwani pake haikulala Haiku, haikulala pamoja na vitambaa bali imezongwa zongwa mbali mahali peke yake basi ndipo alipoingia na yule mwanafunzi mwingine aliyekuwa wa kwanza kufika kaburini akaona na kuamini kwa maana hawajalifahamu bado andiko ya kwamba imempasa kufufuka basi wale wanafunzi wakaenda zao tena nyumbani kwao lakini Mariamu alikuwa akisimama karibu na kaburi nje yake analia basi akalia hivi aliinama na kuchungulia ndani ya kaburi akaona malaika wawili wenye mavazi meupe wameketi mmoja kichwani na mmoja miguuni hapo alipokuwa ameulaza mwili wake. Yesu nao wakamwambia, "Mama unalia nini?" Akawaambia, "Kwa sababu wamemuondoa bwana wangu wala mimi sijui walikomweka." Naye kisha kusema hayo akageuka nyuma akamwona Yesu amesimama asijue ya kuwa ni Yesu. Yesu akamwambia, "Mama, unalia nini? Unamtafuta nani?" Naye huku akidhania ya kuwa ni mtunza bustani akamwambia, Bwana ikiwa umemchukua we uniambie ulipomweka nami nitamuondoa. Yesu akamwambia Mariam, yeye akageuka akamwambia kwa Kiebrania, Raboni, yani mwalimu wangu. Yesu akamwambia, usinishike kwa maana sijapaa kwenda kwa baba. Lakini enenda kwa ndugu zangu ukawaambie, ninapaa kwenda kwa baba yangu naye ni baba yenu. Kwa Mungu wangu naye ni Mungu wenu. Mariam Magdalena akaenda akawapasha wanafunzi habari ya kwamba nimemwona Bwana na ya kwamba amemwambia hayo. Ikawa jioni siku ile ya kwanza ya Juma pale alipokuwapo wanafunzi milango imefungwa kwa hofu ya Wayahudi. Akaja Yesu akasimama katikati yao akawaambia, "Amani iwe kwenu." Naye kisha kusema hayo akawaonyesha mikono yake na ubavu wake. Basi wale wanafunzi wakafurahi walipomwona Bwana. Basi Yesu akawaambia tena, "Amani iwe kwenu." kama baba alivyonituma mimi mimi nami nawapeleka ninyi naye akisha kusema hayo akawavuvia akawaambia pokeeni roho mtakatifu wote wa wote mtakaowatendea mtakaoondolea dhambi wameondolewa na wa wote mtakaowafungia dhambi wamefungiwa walakini mmoja wa wale Thenasia na Tomaso aitwaye Pacha hakwako pamoja nao alipokuja Yesu basi wanafunzi wengine wakamwambia tumemwona Bwana akawaambia mimi nisipoziona mikononi mwake kovu na mis, za misumari na kutia vidole, kidole changu katika mahali pa misumari na kutia mkono wangu katika ubavu wake mimi sisadiki hata kidogo basi baada ya siku nane wanafunzi wake waliokuwamo ndani tena na Tomaso pamoja nao akaja Yesu na milango imefungwa akasimama katikati akasema amani iwe kwenu kisha akamwambia Tomaso lete hapa kidole chako uitazame mikono yako, yangu ulete na mkono wako utie ubavuni mwangu wala usiwe asiyeamini bali aaminie Tomaso akajibu akamwambia mwana wangu na Mungu wangu Yesu akamwambia 
wewe kwa kuwa umeona umesadiki waheri wale wasiona wakasadiki amen amen bwana asifiwe amen nguvu ya upendo the power of love upendo ni nguvu love is power kuna wakati tunaweza kuchoka there are times we can get tired lakini kwa ajili ya upendo but because of love tunapata nguvu mpya we get a new strength ya kuendelea na kile ambacho tumechoka nacho to continue with that which has caused us to be tired na nguvu za upendo now the power of love ziko ndani ya Mungu is found in God himself. Maana Mungu ni upendo. Because God is love. Na upendo una nguvu kuliko mauti. And love is more powerful than death. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Tumesoma siku ya Alhamisi na Ijumaa. On Thursday and Friday we read kuhusu kazi za Yesu msalabani. Concerning the works of Jesus at the cross. Na jinsi Yesu aliamua kushuka duniani. And on how Jesus decided to come here on earth. Alijua kabisa amekuja kufa kwa ajili yetu. He knew for sure that he came to die for us. Lakini ilivyofika sasa kuingia katika matendo. But when it was about things to be in action. Kweli kaonekana ugumu maana si jambo rahisi. Indeed it was difficult because it was not an easy thing. Hebu fikirie mtu anakufa kwa ajili yako ni upendo wa namna gani. Somebody is dying for you. What manner of love is this? ni kifo ni jambo la kutisha but death is something that is so frightening ni jambo la kuogopesha sana it is something that is so fearful ilivyofika muda wa Yesu kukamatwa when the moment came for Jesus to be captured alianza kuogopa he started to be afraid alisononeka he was sorrowful na akaanza kuomba and he started to pray wanafunzi wengine wakasinzia and others other disciples alisomba sana and when he prayed so much akawa anasema and he was saying baba father ikiwezekana If possible let this cup be away from me and he came back and he found the disciples were sleeping and he had to awake them and he told them why are you sleeping this situation is tough he came back again and he prayed baba Father, possible. Take away this cup from me. It is true he meant what he was saying. And we say, the Holy Spirit. He was still with Jesus. And we believe that he witnessed unto him. That the prayer point that you're praying is not the will of God. But when he heard in his spirit, and he was able to say but let it not be my will but let it be your will in other words he understood that that was his will but because he loved God more than the way he loved himself he decided now to take that will of God the love of God will cause you to accept the will of God not every time the will of God will be sweet to you but sometimes God can tell you something that is not the joy of your heart and as you check yourself you will be able to you'll be able to know whether you love God more than the way you love yourself because the nature of this body it says that I love myself first more than anything else and that's how every human being is this is the nature of the body to love yourself more but the love that I'm telling you today it is a love that has the nature of the spirit the love of the nature of the spirit it is contrary to the love of the nature of this physical body the love of the nature of this body it looks like you love yourself more than anything else but the love 
spirit. It says love your fellow even more. That love of the spirit. It's called Jesus to love God more and to embrace the will of God. That's when Jesus was caught. When he continued. We see that. In order for Jesus to accept to die. It means. He revealed and he showed the love of the spirit. He, he proved the love of the spirit and not of the body. Because the love of the spirit. It caused him to love you and me more than the way he would have loved himself.